And police are yet to arrest a police officer who was caught on camera assaulting an unarmed individual along Londiani Road off Likoni Road in Industrial Area, Nairobi. According to eyewitnesses, the officer was angered after the suspect in the video hurled a stone at a moving car during a confrontation with other people in the area. Wednesday afternoon along Londiani Road in industrial area Nairobi. A police officer is caught on camera assaulting Brian Okutu, an employee at Print Park, which is located several meters from the scene of the incident. According to those who witnessed the assault, Ogutu, who was from having lunch with a colleague, differed with a man who was in possession of iron roads along the Kony Road some minutes after 1 p.m. The confrontation, which led to the two arguing before hell broke loose. <laughs> kati alipata huyo mmoja hapa ndiye alianzana na yeye hapa alikanyagwa mbaya katoka damu mpaka kwa masikio bele walimaliza walimwamsha wakaenda na yeye sasa hatuji waliende mpaka wapi somebody has been beaten with somebody like a police a mechanic who had parked the vehicle captured on the video being used by the police officer to support himself during the assault being on the receiving end as a client wondered why his car was being used to torture an innocent person. Even if the police intercept somebody and running away near the car, they should not even use the, my car, even our car, to jump on somebody, even to, to, to torture somebody. The family of the victim confirmed to Citizen TV that he was taken to Makongeni police station before he was released to seek medical attention. According to Ogutu's brother, he was discharged from hospital earlier today and is recovering at home. Our efforts to establish whether the officer had been arrested or interrogated following the incident bore no fruits as the Makadara OCPD Nehemiah Legard informed us that he was following up on the incident and that more updates would follow. He had not contacted us as promised by the time of going on air. The National Police Service, through the Office of the Inspector General of Police, Joseph Boynet, in a tweet, condemned the act and said that they are reviewing the video clip to verify its authenticity. Another tweet from the Independent Police Oversight Authority appealed to anyone with information on the video to contact them to facilitate investigations.